Hello, I'm Benson and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a 3D printer. So this one is from a company called Tenlock 3D Solution. And this is their uh, model which you can print um, two filaments at the same time. You've got options on mirroring, so basically double the speed because you can print um, the same thing two at a time. Or you can print different color. That is what I want to do. So I want to print something, for example, black and white. I can field one of the nozzle with black, one of the nozzle with white, and then they will switch in between so that you can print a model with different color. There is a website which all the 3D designers share their ideas and share their um, design. So uh, obviously you can buy design as well. Thank you very much for watching my video. And if you find my video content useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and help me grow. Okay, so we come with a massive box like this and it's actually heavy. I think this is about 20, uh, around 20 kilos. And this one I got from Amazon. And uh, with the on-screen voucher, it is about 500 pounds. So um, it's not the cheapest uh, on the market, but for a dual filament printer, I think it is reasonable. So you've got your instruction booklet right here. First of all, we have all the wires, cables. Power cable, USB cable, serial port cable, adapters, screwdriver, tools. My previous printer didn't come with this, and I remember having to pay for it separately, but this is a metal. I use a plastic one. Anyway, so this is a box of goodies. Okay, second box of the day, what do we have here? So you have a rubber gasket, and interestingly, small wheel of plastic filament these are the stepper motors so this is what drive the movement and you call a connector so this is marked e1 so this is a stepper motor oh this is the nozzle as well so and the cooling duct is already in here now if you know about 3d printer you know what i'm talking about so this is the fan which drives the air through the air duct to cool down the filament which come out from the nozzle here and this is E2 so you've got filament 1 and filament 2 okay so this is I think it's the upper frame a little medium frame so I'm going to lay it down right here ah, fight with this box I'm not going to show it on camera but... and finally this is the base where the main machine and thing happens and this is quite heavy i strongly suggest that you join the facebook group and watch the installation video before you attempt to put this together a lot of the time people complain about the 3d printer not printing correctly i would say eight out of ten times is not because of the printer it's because of the setup i'm going to take my time i'm going to do it um correctly and i'm going to leave my um, gopro on and make sure i've got the right angle so you guys can um, during the time lapse, you can see what I'm doing. It is now 2.15. So I started at 1.30, so 45 minutes altogether. A couple of screws to make sure the upright is rigid, standard. Um, the rest is all plug and play. So the two nozzle head actually fitted into the rail here. And it's quite a clever system because like, you know, the, the molding or the shape of the back end is actually a square onto a square recess. So you, you can't actually uh, fit it any other way, so it will be always straight. The wiring is quite chunky wire here. They, they, I think they use a VGA cable from here to the back of the printer. I'm not sure when they're actually starting to print how well it is, would it, it would cause some problem. I might have to do some cabling on top here to make sure the cables <coughs> are nice and um, slack, so that enough for it to move around. But apart from that, relatively easy. I mean, 45 minutes to set up this machine is remarkable. I think this is as simple as you can get, unless they ship it out like this. The instruction is quite easy to follow, nothing complicated at all. Comes with all the tools that you will need. So, for example, it comes with a small cutter here, which I'm not expected. And you got a screwdriver. And these are not, um, these are kind of extras. I'm sure I've done it correctly and there's nothing left. So. I'm sure this is just a spare nozzle and spare nuts and bolts that you might need. 
Come with a metal scraper, the cable, the USB cable if you need to connect it, the SD card which you need to transfer file onto the printer. So the printer itself, this is all set up. Obviously, I haven't commissioned or powered it on yet. I have just finished building it in the record time, 45 minutes. And that is taking care to read and understand where everything goes. Here is the connection. So uh, SD card goes in there and uh, as and the USB port is there as well. A lot of cabling coming out from the back here. I might have to do a bit of cable management here. Stepper motors, they are all kind of like, you know, the, the build of this machine is quite rigid, so which is a good thing. So there's nothing wobble or anything like that. So out of the box, I don't think I need to modify it anymore, but I will do some test print and see how it actually print. Drill rail, so is always better. I mean, just as a comparison, let me show you what I have been working with the last two years. So I got a resin printer at the back there. I don't use it anymore because the, uh, the print bed is too small. And you can see a lot of this is spare part that you have to print yourself because the original part comes with it is tiny and rubbish. The fan strout and all that is like customized as well. I'm sure if you are interested in this kind of thing, you will read it up on the internet. The power supply is a beefed up one and I have a uh, temperature control module power supply there as well, which doesn't come with the printer. I mean, yes, it is sort of old technology and two years old, but at the time where the technology is not mature enough, you end up spending a lot of time and a lot of uh, effort and you have to upgrade all the parts to make it work. Whereas 2020, yes, this one is a bit more expensive, but look how easy it is. 45 minutes and it's done. Power switch on the side here. A nice LCD screen in the front. Here's the manual, this is touch screen. So, um, and all you need is a piece of paper, which I have right here. It's any piece of paper. You slide it underneath the nozzle. Now at the moment it doesn't want to go at all. So you need to do is turn the knob, Oop. push too hard. As you turn the knob, it will move the bed either up or down. So it moved it up definitely. So now the paper can slide underneath, but it's a bit too loose. So you want it to have a little bit of resistance. So you turn it down until you can feel that the paper is dragging on the nozzle. It kind of gives you a little tingly feeling when the when the friction is right. At the moment, there's not much friction here, so I'm gonna turn it a tiny bit, just a tiny bit, until you can feel that you're actually dragging on the nozzle. Just a slight drag. Okay, that's how I like it. And you move to the next point. There is fan noise coming from um, both of the extruder because it needs to cool down the nozzle and um, but the motor is really quiet compared to my tarantula um, print. It's so quiet because there's no whining or stepper noise from the um, stepper motor. All I can hear is the low hum of the fan. Obviously the microphone will pick it up but if it is in a normal uh, working office environment, even if I don't put it in an enclosure, I think it's okay. Whereas um, the older type of 3D printer, you can hear the ee, ee, mm, mm, ee, ee, mm, mm. But this one, there is no, there's no noise. Everything is just so silent. The print has gone on overnight and it took five hours, 45 minutes to print this. And this is kind of my, um, first successful print so all in all the machine took me 45 minutes to set up it prints straight out of the box so this is the cube the test cube that i printed so two type of filaments but kind of blending and mixed together still need to horn in with some setting because it's rough around the edges and this little dragon is a real test of how the printer perform and so far so good i got one missed layer there i probably need to adjust the bed layer properly so the layer kind of squeezing correctly but in terms of printing smoothly yeah it does in two different inks don't forget 
ink printer filament. Okay, so I have managed to print the little dragon, which is really nice. Now I'm going to try a different function of so the duplication. So now each of the nozzles is going to print their own. And I have the file already in the SD card, which I put it as single dough, but for duplication. It's a bit like synchronized swimming. You've got two little swimmer there and then you like printing, 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 printing. All right, wow. Wow, that is printing on the background. I did a little bit of cleanup on the dragon and this is what it looks like. So printed with two different color of uh, PLA filament and there's not my choice of color, but it does come with the printer and I'm just putting the printer through it places. I quite like this one to be on my desk, so I might print it in a different color. Rah. I'm not sure what this is, I think it's too kind of a baby doll, but the finishing is quite good. So on the right hand side here, or left hand side there, you've got the beige filament, and here's a white, basically it's the same uh, modeling file, it just kind of print left and print right, so it comes out actually quite amazing, I think. Um, I actually didn't do anything to, to arrange with the printer, it was still on the same setting as the, the dragon print that I did, so this is my first print. Oops, I see it. So yeah, so this is my first print, and there is some missing gaps in there, I don't know why, but this one here, there is one missing layer here, which I'm not sure why, but it happens on both side of the print. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite impressed with this, actually. So the next step of the testing is to test the mirror mode. So I got a vase here, which is a kind of spiral, spiral case. And what we need to do is we need to choose the mode so into mirror and then we go to print sd and then we go to choose the spiral fast file so what they are now doing is uh, basically they're doing com completely opposite of what each other is doing so before where two of them are doing the same cycle now they're actually doing a opposite cycle so the spiral the spiral vase should come out on a different direction and different color because one is white, one is beige. And before I sign off today, just want to say a big thank you for watching my video. And if you find my video useful, don't forget to share, like and subscribe to my channel and help me grow. Here you say 5 hours 37, but the print is ready. And I have to say, I'm presently surprised how good it turned out. Now when the when the glass is cool, the print actually just come off perfectly and um, all this support or raft, you just peel that off. Okay, so I have two vases here which I printed and you can see it's hollow in the middle. So this is a decorative piece. Um, basically, I download it on the internet, the STL file, and then I just scale it down as a test. So it can be as big or as small as you want. I think for my next test, I'm going to print a massive print to test out the capability of this printer but so far I mean this particular STL file is flawless there is no more of that layer gap that I have seen in the dragon print or the, the, the baby doll print and I'm, I'm, I'm quite impressed with this is and like I say this is a mirror print so basically is one file one file you ask the printer to print it at one corner and then you choose the mirror function and then it print side by side. But you can see this is a mirror image of each other. So the spiral pattern is actually, oh, it's like a gear. <laughs> this is like a gear. So um, yeah, so this is basically an opposite print of each other. A very useful function in the future. Oh, this is very satisfying actually. So hopefully I managed to show you what your money can buy if you do decide to go with the 10 lock uh, 3D Pro um, printer. This one comes with two um, 
nozzle so you can print two different types of filaments at the same time which is the selling point is relatively quiet the noise comes from the fan which is a low humming noise but it doesn't have any of the stepper motor noise which is quite annoying in the first generation of 3d printer you can double the speed of your print by printing duplicate so you can just have one file let it sit at the corner press a button and it will duplicate and print two models for you at the same time. You can use the same material if you want to, or you can choose a different color, it's up to you. Having two uh, different color open the possibility of printing a lot more interesting um, files, like this little dragon here, like all the highlights, all the fins and all the add-on is all in different color. Uh, it will be quite interesting to print this, for example, in black and gold. You also have a function where you can mirror the image so you can just print one file press a button and it will do a mirror image for you i'm not sure if this is the best example to show you guys but basically the spiral is kind of twisting on the opposite direction it works almost like a gear but uh, imagine if you're printing a pair of shoes so all you need to do is do a left shoe put it on the print bed press a button and it will print the right sh right shoe for you right hand side of shoe for you this is all i have time for you today and if you enjoy my video don't forget to share like and subscribe to my channel to help me grow i can't wait to show you more interesting products in the near future and i'll see you next time bye bye